Baby girl When you look at me Hi, I'm Bob Davis. Welcome to episode 4 of I Can Like That. Let them eat cake. Have you ever struggled how to get creative cake shots in a boring environment? Let me tell you, I have. Been to many a halls where it's just a plain cake and a terrible background and no lighting. All these pictures were created with an EOS 5D Mark II with an off-camera flash triggered with a Canon STE2 wireless speed light transmitter in combination with the Radio Popper PX transmitter and receivers and two Canon 580 EX2 speed lights in ETTL in manual mode and using a light sphere as a modifier. The settings and diagrams will be given per photo. So with a nice cake shot, you could get the camera and flash and line things up and use one on-camera flash and bounce it and get a really nice clean shot. But after a while that gets to be boring. The overuse of on-camera bounce flash tends to flatten out your images. So as much as possible I like to get that flash off camera, off to the side. And here's a very nice example of that. The flash is off to camera left using the light sphere it creates this nice umbrella like quality of light shot in ETTL really quick really easy it's a nice shot but I know I could like that better let's get a little creative using one off camera flash in the cloud light sphere light modifier my settings I was using a 70 to 200 zoom lens at 85 millimeter using the 580 EX2 in ETTL mode my ISO is 200, an 80th of a second at 2.8. I had balanced my flash to match the house lights by using a full CTO filter and then shot in the tungsten white balance preset. This way here I can use all the light that's available to me, allowing the background lights to add as fill and using the wireless transmitter, the SDE2, in combination with the radio popper transmitter and receiver. This way I'm not limited to line of sight. I can put my light anywhere I want and I can move around at any angle and not worry about the optical transmission. So we could shake things up with some dramatic lighting and, and convert from soft lighting to hard lighting. This adds a bit of drama. By lighting it from the top down it picks up the nice texture in the cake, the details in the cake, and it just kind of gives some drama to the shot. For this one I was still using the lights here but I was shooting directly through it. I zoom the flash head to 105 millimeters which therefore narrows the beam of light which you can see focuses on the top of the cake head and then the light falls down picking up the wonderful textures and details and showing off the details of the cake. While shooting through the light sphere, I had the cap off to pick up some specular highlights. So it's still creating a bit of side light fill by the light reflecting and bouncing around inside the light sphere but then still being narrow by focusing it down to 105. Just by changing the direction and position of the light can add more interest and drama to the picture. Again this was shot with a 5D Mark II 24 to 70 millimeter lens because I wanted to come in a little bit closer pick up some background shot at 70 millimeters using one 580 EX2 in ETTL mode and I jumped up my ISO to 800 so the flash wouldn't have to work as hard and I was at a 50th at 3.5 still correcting the flash to match the house lights with a full CTO correct to orange filter everything's still the same but I still had a different vision in my mind's eye I wanted to spice things up a bit so now let's add a second flash and I'm liking this shot a lot. I love the red background and I like the glow of the yellow wall sconces. To achieve this, I used a second speed light behind the cake aimed directly at the wall with a red gel on it. Now you might ask, well how'd you get that light to fire? Again, that's that magic of the radio popper. You don't need to be within line of sight. It converts the optical signal to radio and you can control everything from camera. But here's a little bit known, a little known Canon fact. This is a combination of ETTL with the top light and then manual mode 
for the gel background light or separation light. I just know from practice that ETTL and background lights and gels, it takes you a while to get the image dialed in. You know, I had minutes to work here before the bride and groom came into the reception hall and before all the other guests started coming in, so I wanted to nail this shot quickly. From practice, I know that 1 8 manual power through a gel gives me that nice, rich tonality and color that I'm looking for. My overhead light is still in ETTL mode, but by pushing the mode button in on my second flash, the background light, holding it in for a second, it will drop out of ETTL mode and into manual mode. Now I can dial in the power level that I choose on the speed light itself. I'm no longer controlling that speed light from camera or from the SDE2 transmitter, but I have to physically dial the power in on the back of the flash unit itself. It's still dedicated to me and it's only going to fire for me, but it's in manual mode. So this is really a game changer and powerful when you want to do backlighting or separation light for lighting on backgrounds because you can have that constant output of power of light and shoot right into the light if need be to create lens flare or other dramatic effects and your system will not shut off like it would in ETTL mode. So I was using um, a Honol Photo speed strap which is a Velcro strap that goes around it and the Honol Photo color gel kit. I just used the deep red gel to light up the plain tan taupe wall that is usually in banquet halls but I liked the glow of the sconce in the background with the red gel. This is the picture I had in my mind's eye and this is what's going to separate you from others taking that time to create a picture instead of snapping a picture. Here's the lighting diagram and, and settings that I used. So you can see the only thing that's different is I bumped up the ISO to bring in that richness of the background light. Went to a thousand, a fiftieth of a second to get in some ambient light of the wall sconces and F4.5. This thing just saying, I was done with this within five minutes. Thanks again for joining us and stay tuned. I'll have another episode of I Can Light That Up shortly. And uh, leave us some love or email me with any questions and throw down that lighting challenge. Tell me what you'd like to see and I can light that. Thanks and remember, let your light shine.